Evening. Ugh. You want something? Yeah, you can blame Glory for that mess. She had some fun with the little prick and it ended badly. Now he goes around spreading lies about my sister, which pisses me off. One of these days, I'm going to piss in his skull. You watch. We could do that, but then we'd have to kill his 400 friends, too, and that'd just get tiring. Someday he'll make a mistake, though, and his friends won't be around to back him up, and then it'll be mine. Unlike most of my brothers and sisters, Mama didn't get sick of my father and get rid of him. He died right before I was born. Mama had liked him so much she made us use his last name. Said he deserved that much at least since he never got to meet me or nothing. Our family comes from Redding to the west. We deal weapons mostly but trade other commodities like gold if there's cash in it. Our mother's been running this show for longer than most of us have been alive, but she stays at the home office. We've got branches all over the place, which are run by my brothers and sisters. Mama's real popular with the menfolk, both for her money and her looks, which is why there's 10 of us kids in total, all by different fathers. Glory? Glory's fucking crazy. Some of my siblings are real pieces of work, but I'd bet on Glory if she were facing down a death claw with the plastic spoon. She's got the smarts to do whatever she wants, but she and Mama are always button heads, so she gets all the shit jobs. I'm not one for running a business, never really had a head for numbers or smooth talk. My talents are a little more... direct. Mama always said that was my gift. When we were kids, the others used to fight over and steal one another's toys. I always broke mine. And if the others mess with me, I broke theirs too. Sometimes I break them even if they were nice to me just to show them what's what. One day Mama took me aside and said, Boy, you're never going to go very far. But you're going to make a whole lot of people come up short. Make it quick. I got shit to do. Then go bother someone else. I got shit to do. My favorite employee returns. What can I do for you? Of course.
Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Partner, you've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. partner. That man you're chasing, he's a bad penny, all right. A rattlesnake of a man. Think of Mr. House's intimate. Continuing patrol. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Suit yourself. It's not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. I swear, the monorail is just ahead. Hello. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Come back soon now. Where to, partner?
Penthouse floor. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Emeritus especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here. But why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar. Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it. But that counts in my book.